by Tina Charles, one of the best in the business. And we're going to get, th th get things started. And the Sparks start off with the ball. And the first game at home since May 31st. So these fans excited to see their Sparks. Early dish from by Ruffin Pratt. Chelsea Gray denying the screen up top by Shanae Gumake. Neck is trying to figure things out offensively. Guarded by Tina Charles. The fumble there. Tierra Ruffer Pratt. Pulls up in. That a lot of different interviews. Just the confidence that has been growing since she arrived at training camp. Baseline jumper for Neck no good, but who's going to clean it up? The sister. Gumake brings to the Sparks team energy on the offensive boards. And she said she wanted to do that. That was one thing that she's working on, especially in the offseason, being able to crash the boards. As Amanda Zowie is left all alone underneath, okay. left all alone underneath, okay. and she makes the Sparks pay. Beautiful dish. High expectations for Zowie V this season. She said that Tanisha Wright has continued to challenge her not to just be a good player, but push the ball up the court and as well as being a leader at the bar tonight. Pick and roll will give the assist to Ruffin Pratt. Brittany Boyd working on the inside and finding Amanda Zowie B underneath. To be in attack mode and they feel a whole lot better than they did last night in Vegas where they just got smoked early as Vegas goes out to a 13-2 early lead and never look back. Speaking of games last night, Sparks entering after taking down the Mercury at home. And everybody was firing all cylinder, picking a firing. 304 career regular season games. She had gotten at least one rebound in every one of them except last night. Chelsea Gray, one on lead here in the first quarter with a little under six minutes to go. And a turnover at the top of the key. Kia Nurse all the way, gets a steal in the Neko Gumake checking Tina Charles. That is a matchup to keep our eyes on. All right, Barry. People don't know that you are getting some play-by-play -play experience in here tonight. I know that. Some audio, audio issues, but we are working on it. So thank you, Barry Zemay. I don't think so. I'm happy to <laughs> defer to you, superstar. That shot by Lumipe goes down. The Sparks 15 to 6, but immediately there is a for the foul, but the officials feel otherwise. Chelsea Gray pushing the ball up the floor, finds Tierra Ruffinpratt on the box. Kicks out. Chelsea Gray with a dime on the inside to Decker so hard on the runouts. And does she get those minutes without Elena Beard being out? Probably not. So she's taking advantage. As Coach Fisher said, hey, no excuses. This should be an opportunity for you to step up. And there have been a number of players on this Sparks roster that have done just that. And man, is that we be for me. That brings them to five points here, 17 to 12. And that's stolen. Asia Durr all the way to the left side. She's a great, has kept everybody on the same page, and that's what you want from your floor general. And she's having fun doing it. <laughs> Janae Gumake is having turnover number four for the Sparks. No foul underneath called as Nurse tries to get out there. But she gets to the three point line, and three is better than here. The Sparks have the lead 19 to 17, but it's been Amanda Zowie B that's been. Killing them underneath. Let's see if they can find an answer for her here in the second quarter. Ten points already for Zowie B. And a lot of those on Boyd penetrations and dishes inside. A take to the conditioning. And she's getting minutes from Fisher. Continuing to put the trust in her with her on the floor. Tiffany Bias knocks down two that make this a tie game 21-21. Tough pass. But Shanae Gumake said, I got your back. No kidding. I mean, she's just surrounded by Liberty players, and she just stayed with it. A little bit of a ping pong game. It comes away with two points.
Tiffany Wright. The high screen from Rashonda Gray back in California. And Amanda Zowie B, hey, if you... At just six points last night in 22 minutes, did not make a three, but she has great range. She had plenty of time to settle in. <laughs> Tiffany Bias. <laughs> Tanisha Wright, but that's real good, but none other than Amanda Zawi B. The second chance opportunity. Ten on the shot clock. Tiffany Bias squares up, finds Amanda. You can count it. Tanisha Wright all the way to the rim. Decides to pass it to Kia Nurse. That shot is no good. Amanda gets a ball, or hand on the ball. It's Tanisha Nurse. Tina, power dribble, her sky hook that she's patting is no good. So a tough night so far for Tina Charles. She has a six rebounds, Mary. That's zero points for her, but... Handle the ball a lot more this year than we've seen in years past. We've heard from Coach Fisher and how he wants it to be a positionless offense. We're up to do a lot more in that mid range game. Shanae Apuke bust down last night and get prepared for their matchup tonight against the Liberty. As Ruan Williams from the top of the key, it does have seven rebounds. Oh, for five from the floor. Marina Mabry can't connect. Brittany Boyd working on the inside in transition, finding Asia Durr for two. <laughs> and immediately, Chelsea Gray all the way to the rim, no good. Partially blocked underneath, finding Sydney Weiss. Here, rushing that on the inside for the leaner. Very, very step like. That lead on the inside. <laughs> and in transition, Zowie B. Can't give up easy twos like that. And that brings us to even what Katie Smith was talking about her. She said she's not taking possessions off. She has done a great job as a flying out of bounds. So that is the fourth turnover for the Liberty. But when you're looking at them pushing the pace in transition, they have 10 transition points compared to the Spark transition points compared to the Spark zero. Neko Kumake finishes for two underneath, and the assist goes to none other than Chelsea Gray. Well, you talk about just ripping a ball out of midair and finishing. Tina Charles underneath over Tierra Ruffin Pratt. <laughs> and the two on two opportunities they've had, and I even ran into Chelsea Gray at one of those games, and they definitely support one another. Nice. So glad to have those guys in the building and gals. Russell Westbrook's wife played at UCLA, a proud Bruin. Nina Earl before she got married. A very lovely. To keep her in front of you so that she doesn't turn the corner and create all that help so she can start to dish into her teammates. And correct me if I'm wrong, as Amanda Bowie B lets another one fly. Here we go. As Neko, as Neko Bumake. We talked about it before. What are you seeing in her confidence as she continues to find success there? You know, we've talked more and more about that during this. It's, it's still a young season. Taking the three, taking the mid-range. It's just not all in the... Brittany Boyd. Brittany Boyd. Finishing at the rim. Getting on the board now for her two points. She does have eight assists to add to that. But... I know the nickname, the answer is already taken, but she just really eliminates runs by opponents because she comes right down and answers. Speaking of hand on hand, it's up four points here. A little less than 36 seconds on the clock. Liberty with the lead for two in on two. The last shot here in the half. Chelsea Gray going against Brittany Boyd, five on the clock. Underneath. Underneath. A triple teamed at that point, but you spoke with Katie Smith before the game and you said, doesn't make it easier that you already have the scouting report against the Sparks. It does help when you know the other opponent. Okay, once again, that free throw connects. 
has worked in her favor. Sister to sister, the cut by Neca, the pass by Chine. First time teammates and sisters. Is that we be? Five for six, 27 points. Is there a hydrant at this point? Fire extinguisher. Something. And today, Tia Nurse just knows how to win, has done it on every level. High school points, three Canadians. I guess congrats are in order for the two Canadians on the Liberty side as Neko Kuhn. Asian start for finding a man, as that would be. A little bit more pressure at the top of the key from Chelsea Gray. She's already knocked down five threes. They're trying to prevent her from going off again. Chelsea Gray with the mid-range. Reading the game. Asia Durr, mid-range shot, no good. But Tina Charles, six tonight, has nine rebounds. Yeah. Continuing to grow as she takes more and more steps away from the bucket. There are questions just about what this team could be offensively and as Kia Nurse gets all over the intangibles. And Shanae Bumake tips it out to her teammate. Chelsea Gray has it on the wing. Neka with the baseline shot. Five so far this ball game. Tina Charles all the way to the bucket. No call underneath. Bodies on the floor for Quana Williams. Fakes the pass on the inside. Tierra Ruffin Pratt finds Shanae Gumake. Chelsea Gray trail. You bet. Points, but a career high four assists tonight. And we got a ways to go. Tia Nurse. Amanda Zowie B. 29 points for Amanda. She put the show on, moving well without the basketball. And her conditioning is there. You don't see her huffing or puffing, something that coach has continuously said she's gotten better at. As Tanea Bumake, the key. And we have a five point ball game, 69-64, Sparks with the lead. And Asia Durr next, but once again, Tanea Bumake with the rebound. Can't shoot over. Tina Charles turns the ball over. Kia Nurse, full steam. Two points, and what do we... Well, they're forcing tempo, and they've gotten the ball to Zowie B, and she has taken advantage. Williams with the steal. Thirty seconds on the game clock. Twelve on the shot clock. Kalani Brown. Williams denying it, saying going back. Alexis Jones turning down the shot, but taking it for the long. Alexis Jones. Bench production for Los Angeles. Three-point shooting from the bench. So important to big part of this team this season. 11 bench points for the Spartans. Asia Durr with the left hand. Been hoping to get her back soon. Well, for both teams, you really understand the importance of having a solid bench because bench players become starters and people further down the bench get moved up in the rotation. Five on the shot clock for the Liberty. Amanda Zowie B. That's just little. You just look at one another and you just say, at this point, she's a shooter. Don't let her get the catch. And kudos to Amanda Zowie B. Continuing to let it fly. 34 points. Six for seven from the three-point line. I'd shoot it too if I were you. And the response by and the response by Alexis Jones, her second of the night. So with that three, the Sparks have the lead against 77 to 75, but it's going back. There you go. Tanisha Wright working the baseline. No good. Raquana Williams full steam ahead. Count it! A double-double on the night with 22 points. And Tina just 3 of 14. Alexis Jones assessing the situation. Finds Neca underneath. Didn't like the left, but she got her on the right. Kind of played a little peekaboo inside, didn't she? And figured it out, as she seems to always do. High IQ player finishing at the rim. And on the other side, oh, down. Yeah. 
79. Pull up shot by Luke Jones. Down and feeling it. It takes the village, as we said before. He has so many players right now that have been able to contribute offensively for the Sparks. Some trouble up top for New York. Five on the shot clock. Kia Nurse. Pull around. And she connects. That pulls it into a one-point game. 86-85. Offense, you got it. She saves it inbounds, and you have to reward her. And she doesn't connect, but Tina Tarr. But it doesn't matter how many she's missed. She still could just break your back. She's, she's just that good. Amanda Zowie B from the sweet spot and connects from the top of the key. Moment to score. 10 11 for 12 from the free throw line. I would say she's found her success from that strike. So, an eight point game, the largest lead for the Liberty. Ten seconds, Chelsea Gray rises up.